Did I hear what I thought I heard? It sounded like Gwen is breaking it off with Ethan. Just because they're taking shots at each other doesn't mean they're in real trouble. I think this could be my lucky day, Whitney. The girl is not stupid, Teresa. She's picked up on the fact that you're interested in her man. It's more than interest. I love him, Whitney. And if Gwen leaves, I'm gonna go right out there and tell him. You wouldn't. <sighs> Wait and see. Ter Poor Teresa. I think I know what you mean about me needing you, Teresa. You do? Really? After Gwen left, I realized again how special you are. Oh, Ethan, I am so glad. Whitney didn't want me to say anything, but I had to. I knew you'd understand. Well, I'm very lucky to have someone like you in my life. And I appreciate your offering to try and convince Gwen that she's wrong about you being interested in me. Oh, Teresa, you were so incredibly naive. Teresa, that's what you meant, isn't it? About me needing you, that you were gonna try and smooth things over with Gwen, right? Say yes, Teresa. Say yes. Of course that's what I meant, Ethan. That you needed me to convince Gwen that there's nothing going on between us, which <laughs> there isn't. Oh, uh, Teresa, I... I think you're uh, the nicest, most caring girl in the world to want to help salvage my relationship with Gwen. I mean, especially after she comes into your home and accuses you of having designs on me. Gwen's just fighting for the man she loves. And I can understand that. Teresa, you're really someone special. And well, I want to thank you again for wanting to help me, but I don't think there's anything you could say that could turn Gwen around. And I know her like the back of my hand. At least I thought I did. The way she's been acting lately is so unlike her. And I don't mean that as a criticism. It's just, you know, I don't understand where all this jealousy is coming from. I mean, until recently, Gwen was the most secure and rational woman I have ever known. Well, and now she's... You know how she is. You've seen her firsthand. I can understand how Gwen feels. If I thought I were losing you to another woman, I would fight for you tooth and nail. Teresa, can I ask you a question? Do you think women have some kind of secret radar that warns them when another woman is after your man? Well, I can't say. I've never been in that position before. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess if women do have that kind of radar, Gwen's is completely out of whack. <laughs> well, anyways, look, I'm sorry for Gwen troubling you and, well, especially for demanding that you admit something that we both know isn't true. It's okay, Ethan. Uh, and I hope you can forgive me for coming here tonight. <laughs> Well, I forgive you. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, good night, Teresa. Uh, and I'm sorry this evening turned out for you the way it did. I'm sorry, too. You skirted disaster today, Teresa. First from Gwen, and then from Ethan. I know, Whitney. Thank God Ethan hasn't picked up on the fact that you're in love with him yet. You still have a chance to save face. And to save yourself from getting hurt. You're right, Whitney. I still have a chance. Good. I am so glad you finally realized you've got to give up this fantasy about being Mrs. Ethan Crane. Give up my dream of marrying Ethan? N no. But y you just said. I still have a chance to get Gwen out of Ethan's life for good. But I have to act fast. Where are you going? I'm going to the Crane Mansion. I'm following Ethan home. 